A Nigerian army special court martial convened in Abuja and sentenced Major General Omar Mohammed, former group managing director of Nigerian Army Properties Limited, to seven years imprisonment. The charges against him were related to the misappropriation of over $2.1 million, that is, a whooping sum of 1.9 billion naira belonging to the Nigerian Army Property Limited. According to the nation's report, Mohammed was convicted on 14 out of the 18 charges, which include forgery, fund misappropriation, and conspiracy. Initially, the accused had pleaded not guilty to all the charges brought against him. During the recent session where the verdict was delivered, the eight-member panel headed by Major General <coughs> During the recent session where the verdict was delivered, the eight-member panel headed by Major General James Miam disclosed that Count 1 was based on Section 383, Subsection 1 of the Criminal Code Act Cap C38, Law of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It was punishable under Section 390, Subsection 7, and the charge was also filed pursuant to Section 114 of the Armed Forces Act Cap 820, 2004. The panel explained that the prosecution counsel called 24 witnesses while the defendant called two witnesses. The panel thereafter, in its judgment, ordered that the convicted senior officer of the Nigerian Army be jailed for five years each for some of the offenses, while some others carried seven and two years imprisonment respectively. The court explained that the sentences would run concurrently and directed that he should refund funds into the account of the Nigerian army. Meanwhile, the Nigerian airstrikes that killed so many bandits in the north have revealed that over 100 Fulani bandits lost their lives during the airstrikes. Nigerian military jets have carried out airstrikes on a gathering of bandit militias, killing around 100 gunmen in the country's northwest, two army sources with knowledge of the operation and local residents stated. Nigerian Air Force confirmed that they had carried out bombardment in the northwestern state of Zamfara on Tuesday but a spokesman said he could not yet provide details on the number of casualties killed. Northwestern and Central Nigerian states have for years been terrorized by gangs locally known as bandits who raid villages, kill and adopt residents for ransom in rural areas where state presence is weak. The gangs notorious for mass kidnapping from schools and colleges in recent years maintain camps hidden in a vast forest in Zamfara, Castina, Kaduna and Niger State respectively. The Nigeria Air Force fighter jet conducted airstrikes on the bandits. I am sure more than 100 bandits were killed and almost twice of that number were badly injured one of the military officers involved in the operation stated. Another military official also confirmed a similar number. Both spoke to AFP anonymously because they were not authorized to speak about the operation. Two local residents who described the bodies after the strike also gave similar numbers. Fighters from several of the most active gangs 
had converged in an area on the border between Zamfara, Kebi and Niger states with the intent of attacking villages and a nearby military base, according to the officers. Timely intelligence report was received and surveillance was conducted which determined their location and movement before fighter jets were deployed, the first officer stated. When asked for details, Nigerian Air Force spokesman Komodo Edward Gapwet confirmed the airstrike, according to his words, but I can't confirm the numbers to you, he said. The bandits riding motorcycles were intercepted by the fighter's jet at Damani village in Sanjeto district on the fringe of Kunya Bana forest where they were bombarded the second military officer stated. Dead bodies, which were badly burned, littered the bushes. There were so many that the bandits abandoned many to make room for the evacuation of the injured, the officer stated. We don't have an exact number of the casualties, but the dead were more than 100, he said. The airstrike was the second most intensive area operation against bandits in Zamfara since 2015 when the military deployed to fight the gangs. Yusman Tuko, a resident of Kunyan Bana area where the airstrike was carried out, told AFP that dozens of bodies were left around the area after the bombardment. According to his words, they were bombarded by air fighter jets and a huge number were killed. Those who survived were seen fleeing with their injured comrades through villages in the area, he said. From our estimation, those killed were more than 100. Another resident by the name Mustafa Saki Kaya gave a similar account, saying locals had seen the bandits burying their dead. Nigerian officials have struggled to end the violence in the Northwest and several peace deals and amnesties with the bandit militia have failed to work. Although the bandits are motivated by financial gain with no ideological leaning, authorities and security analysts are worried by the increasing tears with jihadists waging a 14-year armed insurgency in Nigeria. Meanwhile, the Nigerian army has recovered 93 remnants of unexploded bombs at the Ikeja military cantonment in Lagos during its ongoing operation Exercise Clean Sweep. The Exercise Clean Sweep, which began on Tuesday, October 10, 2023, was intended to sanitize the epicenter following the 2002 bomb blast that shocked the cantonment. In spite of previous clearance and disposal drills, remnants of unexploded ordnance have been discovered within and around the vicinity of the bomb blast, leading to safety and security concerns for the inhabitants of the cantonment and environs. While addressing the public, the director at the Directorate of Explosive Search and Disposal, Nigerian Army Engineers, and coordinator of SSS Clean Sweep, Colonel Abdurazi Kazim, stated that the recovered bombs were in various calibres and descriptions. The Commander Corps of Engineers, Nigerian Army, Major General Philip Eromo Sele, explained that the Nigerian Army engineers, alongside other stakeholders, carried out an initial clearance, recovering and disposing of over 105 truckloads of unexploded explosive ordinances. Major General Eregbomosele stated that the exercise clean sweep was organized in four phases, including mobilization vegetation clearance, search, recovery, disposal and demobilization.